Hello, Tracy from Salem again. Um, I am just popping back in to uh, give an update on my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery March block. Um, but first, I am just going to do a little, not quite an unboxing, but um, I was visiting a friend on the Cape this past weekend, and the local library was having a, um, a fabric and yarn and wool and sale. Um, and uh, so we went over and it was just like rooms and rooms and rooms. It was like, I mean, it was like Valhalla. It was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. Um, so I got a bunch of, of things, this fabulous right, fabric, you know, can you just see cutting this out and applying it and doing stitches on it? I mean, come on. That's just gorgeous. Um, then I did, um, if you've seen a couple videos ago, uh, videos ago, <laughs> um, you've seen this page that I did, um, the February block, um, and I based it on a process that I read about in um, Jan Dowson's book, uh, whose name I'm not going to think about at the exact moment. It is Expressive Stitches. Um, and she does her, her work in wools that she dyes and stuff like that. So I really wanted to uh, try another one of these, but do it a little bit more aligned with her process. So I did get a bunch of wools. Um, and I'm excited to to work on that. I mean, look at this. Look at this huge, massive amount of this gorgeous pink wool. For, it was like $2. Oh my God. Um, and then I did get a bunch of browns because I never have any browns. You know, mostly my color palette is more like brights and jewel tones. So I did get a bunch of browns. Um, so, and then I did get, if you saw my most recent video about my dragonfly, um, I was trying another process from a book called The Quilted Object in which she layers a bunch of chiffons and then sews a dragonfly on it. Um, and I did not have a whole bunch of chiffons, so I, I did something else. Um, but when I was there, I did see this fantastic these huge, huge pieces. Um, uh, think this is, I think this, is this organza? I don't really know quite know the difference, but look at that color. Now that is my color, right? So um, then I did get a couple of pieces of lace because the background is supposed to be, um, uh, vintage fabrics or reclaimed fabrics or something. And I don't really have any. Um, so I got a couple of these, uh, and I thought what I would do, um, because that, that style is just not really my style. Like I, I watch tons of videos of people using vintage fabrics and laces and whatever, and I love watching them. It's just not my personal style. So I thought what I might do a couple weeks ago, I did a bunch of dyeing, dye experiments. I think it goes this way. And so I thought what I would do is maybe dye um, one of these, you know, in, my, in one of my colors, uh, you know, a purple or a blue or something like that. Um, and I kept, you know, placing them on the page and trying to work it out with the with the dragonfly that I've created. And the truth is, they just don't, they don't work with the dragonfly that I created. Uh, the dragonfly is just not a kind of a, um, that vintagey look. So then I started going through my stacks of materials, um, desperately hoping to find something. Um, and what I found was this, piece of wool, reclaimed wool, um, that my mom and I had like a, a <laughs> turmeric dye party <laughs> and um, like months ago, like during the pandemic, uh, you know, I mean, last year during the height of the pandemic, we still, we're still in the pandemic. Um, and so this piece of reclaimed wool got dyed in turmeric and I, and it's, I love that kind of bold um, color. And then this comes from Gwen Lafleur. Uh, so she has, um, she has a very, um, extremely bohemian style. Um, maybe you've seen her on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, she teaches classes, 
uh, and she's got a lot of um, uh, um, stencils through Stencil Girl, um, very bohemian. Um, so I I follow her, and although my style is not super bohemian, I really like her work. Um, so I had gone to her website maybe a month or so ago, and she sells these little bags um, of all kinds of reclaimed scraps from uh, from India, where she goes. Um, and so it's just all these lovely little reclaimed scraps um, in this, you know, and which is like perfect for her very bohemian style, right? Um, and so I had, I got, I got pink and I got blue and I got green. I think are the th three colors I got. Um, and so this piece, so I just started going through those, um, feeling, I mean, it's really the only reclaimed stuff I have. And so then I found this and I was like, oh yes, that's the one. Um, and so then in the center will go my um, dragonfly, which is not quite not quite finished. It still still needs tending um, and uh, t you know finishing, but it will go in the center, um, and that will be that will be my my march block. Um, it's very very simple, uh, and but I like it because the dragonfly really pops. Um, so. So yeah, so that's what I'm working on for March. Um, and I'm just appliquing this down now. Uh, so yeah, so um, one really lovely thing, even though while I was on the Cape, we had a storm <laughs> all day Saturday, or it wasn't really a storm. I don't, the word storm cannot be used. Um, but the wind was howling. But it was exactly that kind of March storm. Uh, that signals that spring is on the way. And uh, it was really wonderful to be there with friends. I was there with, uh, this is just gonna keep catching on this pin. Um, I was there with a couple of friends that I haven't seen since, well, since the pandemic started. Um, some dear ladies who were in my spiritual guidance training program, spiritual companion training program. Um, and so, you know, we, we built a little altar and um, we laughed and laughed and laughed just all weekend um, and just dove into the deep, you know, conversational waters that we like to swim around in. Um, and went to a <laughs> went to a fabric sale uh, that was I mean you you I was a little bit I, I feared a little bit for my life there uh, you know those things can get a little crazy um, but it was just so good to be with girlfriends that I haven't seen in so long and to um, yeah to just to just dive into those human relationships that we've that we've been denied or that we've been trying to keep alive you know over over zoom i talk to these ladies uh every couple weeks over zoom and i love it and it's wonderful because we don't live close to each other and it's just not quite the same is it <laughs> so so spring is coming and the pandemic is, at least for the moment, taking a breather and letting us catch our breath, you know, literally <laughs> and figuratively. So I hope that you are able to uh, get together with friends and um, it would be great if we could all, you know, sit in a big room stitching together. That'll, that would be wonderful. Uh, but if you can, if you can get up, catch up with some friends, um, I'm wishing you all the best and blessings and good health. Bye-bye.